Mr. Speaker, this should come as no surprise, but the world's champion crybaby, the Islamic Republic of Iran, threw another hissy fit this week. Their Navy tried to hijack a British tanker with a Royal Navy escort. They admitted they were breaking international law because they demanded the ship drive itself into their waters to be boarded. The Royal Navy frigate fired back with a salvo from a radio. They said, back off. The Iranian babies put their bo boats at full speed, roaring back to Iran to cry on the Ayatollah's shoulder for their humiliation. This has happened over and over, and I am very familiar with this region. I deployed there in the Navy for six months from May of 1994 to November of 1994. I was based in a small island called Masira, right off the shore of the United Arab Emirates, off the map. We'd fly what's called a Gulf Transit, 1,000 feet all around the Straits of Hormuz, the Persian Gulf, to exercise our freedom of navigation. This is not the first time these things have happened. The last attack happened right there, where the baby's crying. Two months before that, off the map down there, four American tankers at idle, sitting in dead water, ready to unload their cargo, were attacked by Iranian boats, damaged. In the middle of the Persian Gulf, international airspace right down there, the Gulf of Oman, one of our airplanes was blown out of the sky by the Iranians. That was an act of war. Ours was an American military aircraft operating legally in international airspace over international waters. The question is, why are the insane Iranians becoming more insane? And that's because the mullahs who've run their country now for 50 years know they are dying. And like a dying animal, they're gonna fight for the last breath of power. And they're dying because of America of the American energy revolution, started primarily in thriving in Texas and the Permian Basin. Oil is their only source of money in the entire country of Iran. They have nothing else. The Permian Basin by itself next year will produce more oil than every country in the world except for Saudi Arabia. We have many more shale plays across America. Barnett, Eagleford, Bakken, Marcellus, over and over and over. They know we're putting them in the dumpsters of history. Uncle Sam is forcing the mullahs and the leaders of their military to learn new languages, new words, to explain their demise, words like goodbye, ta-ta, adieu, adios, saonara, to go with hude hafase, which in Farsi means goodbye. I want to salute the people of Iran, the dark times are going to end quickly. You'll be free from oppression from your leaders in your own country. And I'd like to give a salute to the mullahs in the Iranian Navy and the military. Goodbye. Adios. And that's just the way it is. I yield back.